What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. This is part four of our e-cart build. If you've missed any of the other previous episodes, I'll pop them up right over here and you can get caught up on that. This is an electric go-kart that I'm building for my son. He has autism and he's been helping me out with this build and we're having a lot of fun with it. We're hoping to get this thing wrapped up in this video. So enough jaw jacking, let's get to it. I think we're gonna throw the seat on this thing. You gonna throw the seat on it, buddy? Were you checking out this chain? Yeah. Was it working good? Yeah. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. We'll put the bottom part on first, the little one. That one goes on the bottom. We'll put it on first, okay? Get some of our mess out of here. And grab the bottom piece, the little one there for the bottom. I think we got it working. Hopefully, hopefully tomorrow is not raining and we can actually get it outside and see what it's got. All right, next morning here at the Rock Bottom Shop, we're gonna get this thing finished up. Just a couple things to wrap it up though. I'm gonna do a little floor mat right here. So it kind of covers up this seam, plus has a little rubber area here for your feet. Um, what else? Tidy up the wires a little more. I wanna clean up some of this mess back here, at least a little bit, I don't know. And, oh, and the hood ornament. That's number one, that's the most important thing. We're gonna get started on this floor mat first though. Got some more of the gator skin and I got this piece of rubber mat. This is what was on it. But now since it's two go-karts welded together, I gotta trim it up a little bit different to make it fit. But that won't be a big deal. I'll get that trimmed up, get it covered in some of that gator skin, stick it down in here.
about that? Is it pretty good? Heck yeah. I gotta do something about this glue on my hands before I do anything else. Ooh. I like that. Next, let's see, we'll clean up this wire. Probably pop us a hole somewhere, get us a zip tie on that. Clean up this wire. I'm not really sure what exactly I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's just kind of chilling there for now. And then I'm gonna clean up these wires. We'll get all the wires sorted out. I think we got it finished up let's see got our got us a couple more zip ties on this popped a little hole couple of holes here through the through the floorboard plate check I don't know what you call that part of the go-kart bottom got some zip ties there tried to clean this up a little bit with some tape and a couple more zip ties there I mean, that's about as best as I can get it. I'm gonna have to pop back into this. I think it's, is it this red one? Yeah, that's my charge wire there. So when the charger comes in, I'll have to splice into that, or maybe it'll get lucky in the, in the plug I got over here that came with it. Maybe it'll fit it, we'll see. I got this little wire here to the brakes, cleaned up, tucked in there, kinda see it. Actually used my favorite E6000, dude. I use this glue for everything, man. Well, not everything, but it's awesome. I just took, I put a couple dabs of super glue in there first and kind of tacked it down, and then I went over it with a fat bead of that right there. Really glued her in there, so it should be good for a while, hopefully. And I went ahead and put some more of this stuff right in here where that wire comes out of the little brake switch box there. One other thing I wanted to go over, I'm not sure if I went over it completely earlier or not, but as far as all these wires go, man, if you got a kit like mine, I'm going to try and help you out a little, but I guess they're all a little bit different as far as the labeling and the ends on the plugs go. You know, I got a bunch of, I don't know, teepees and wigwams and all kinds of little pictures and stuff on all these wires and somebody's like tried to translate them like this one says charge which is good but like it's hard to tell for sure I can tell you this on my kit though one of them said a stern which made no sense to me and you know maybe it's got to do with when you turn your boat or something not remind I don't know man here's the thing a stern was your forward reverse all right, you got a three wire plug back there, it says a stern, that's gonna be your forward reverse. I had another one that said it was stalls. And I looked it up and I saw another one that had the same plug like mine and it called it gears. So I got to looking more and more and the wire, the colors on the wires were matching up. So, you know, a lot of this stuff I just had to try out. So the one that said uh, what I, oh, stalls. The, ones, the one that said stalls was also a three prong, and that ended up being my one, two, three. Low, medium, high, okay? Um, then I had lock. One of them said power lock. That was my key ignition. So you got a stern on the forward reverse. You got stalls on the one, two, three, and you got power lock on the ignition is how they're labeled on this right here so then you have a few more that you may or may not use one of mine says indicato 
and I guess that was like an indicator. And what it does, it sends out uh, 48 volts when you turn your key on. It sends full voltage out of it, so you could run it to uh, like a, a light that would tell you when you turn it on, it would light up. Um, let's see, another one of these wires is brake. I had two brakes. One was brake and one was braking. Brake uh, is basically made for a brake light. Braking is the one that you can run to your pedal. Run the one that said braking to your pedal. And what that does is kills power to the motor. It doesn't actually put brakes on the motor, but it kills power to the motor when you hit your brake. So that way, if you're accidentally pushing the gas a little bit, or both of them, they're not gonna fight each other. It's just gonna kill it. So when, that, when you hit that button and it triggers it, it will send power out the one that just says brake, and you could run that one to your brake light. So braking is to the pedal, brake is to the brake light. Um, these were all pretty well sorted out in the manual, not a big deal, positive, negative. You got three wires for the motor, put them color for color, back on the same way that they came off. Where did my, oh I see, it's yellow. It just doesn't look yellow because of my end on it, Never mind. Yep, so these all match up same for same. You got your positive negative that go to the computer to the batteries. I'm gonna run you a 40 amp fuse. That's 40 amp. I, it did not say that anywhere on my thing, but I did some searching around that. Decided this was gonna be sufficient. Drove it around a little bit in here and it seems to work. Um, then the throttle was actually labeled throttle, so that wasn't a big deal. And I think that covers all the wires that I had to use here on this thing. And even some of the ones I didn't use. Charge, you know, if you got a 48 volt charger, it'll plug in right here. Me right now, I only have 12 volt charger. So I've been disconnecting these and charging them on 12 volt, but I got a 48 volt ordered. Hopefully it'll be here pretty quick because it's a pain in the butt having to take these apart every time you want to charge it back up. So. That's pretty much a rundown right there. And it is a terrible day out, it's raining. And as soon as it gets done with all that, we're gonna get this thing outside, give it a little rip. All right, so I did get my charger in for this thing so we can give this thing our first official charge. Let me see, uh, I got a little pigtail that came with this thing, hold on. This little fella right here. I don't know how long it's going to take to charge, but hopefully that light will tell us something. I think it's done, man. I'll give you a quick walk around. Get that blue and green, that electric scheme.
All right, guys, so there's just a couple more things I'd like to do, a couple of modifications I'd like to make to this thing, but we'll probably save that for later on down the road. As for now, we're going to call it done. The current gear ratio on this thing is getting us up to about 28 miles an hour. That's clocking it with the GPS on the phone, and that's plenty fast, maybe a little too fast for the rickety little go-kart. But it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I know I did. Stay tuned because the next build we got is going to be a big stereo system in a Lexus. If you like this content, as always, please like and subscribe.